I wish the title was clickbait. I wish it was. I wish, I mean, I'm not into clickbait, so I would never do anything like this for clickbait, but oh, how I wish this one was. Hi everyone, welcome back to Blueprint DIY. Angelina here and today I just wanted to come by and give you guys an update on, I don't think I'm gonna make it through this video, but um, give you guys an update. For those of you who do not follow me on Instagram, you don't know why I've taken a break. but i wanted to i've been wanting to make this video because i want to continue to make videos and i don't want everything that we go through in life makes us it makes us who we are and i didn't want to just gloss over this and as if it didn't happen as if it's not part of me you know and then I wanted to directly address it in you know future videos so um so that means you know I had to make this video and I hate with a passion a capital P passion um public displays of emotion so this is very 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 hard for me probably actually making the video is harder than well they're equally hard but um than what you know the video is about that's probably oh, that's harder but um you know i wanted to let you guys know um why i've been on hiatus and you know just let you know what happened like i said those of you who follow me on instagram know exactly what happened and when it happened and you guys were praying for me for us for my husband um while it was happening and i'm grateful to you guys so grateful because you know although he did pass away um that's hard to say <laughs> although he did pass away um the prayers have given me strength and given me courage through this process <laughs> um at the end of may um well let me back up you guys who have been following me for a while know that three years ago i had a miscarriage and at that point like you know that was like the hardest thing i had ever gone through and um thank god you know i think i went through it pretty well i used all of the energy from my grief to really really push my youtube channel forward and it is what it is because of you know because of that and i'm grateful i'm always grateful when um things the bad things that happen in my life when something good can come out of them that makes it to me that makes it worth it you know um if nothing good comes out of the things that i go through shh, you know then it's not worth it so i use all that energy um to and put it into my youtube channel at the same time or shortly after that my husband um we saved up money and he quit his job and um to start his own business and he was developing a new type of space space telescope space satellite telescope that um would be able to take detailed images into deep space and i was very proud of him still very very proud of all that he accomplished and um we are probably probably got together because we're both dreamers both our goals were so 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 big um 
and so we you know stepped out by faith you know um knowing that it wasn't gonna be easy but just willing you know willing to hang in there and willing to keep fighting until the end and i mean everything that could have went wrong during that time went wrong literally literally everything that could have went wrong went wrong and um I, it's so funny because we kept telling each other we kept encouraging each other and you know even in spite of everything that went wrong you know we were still in it together you know like ride or die we were in it together and i'm grateful for that the only thing that really upset me about it is that some people assumed that i didn't you know agree with what he was doing and he had to explain it to me you know which is sad but he had to explain it to me that a lot of men have never a lot of people have never experienced a wife seeing a wife support her husband um through hard times which i think is ridiculous because in my from my perspective and my point of view that's what my mother did you i mean there was no question about it if you choose to marry a person you're in it <laughs> you're in it to win it you know and so i just couldn't fathom that but in the same instance other people couldn't fathom the you know the opposite of what they had seen so you know that upset me a lot because i got a lot of comments a lot of you know just you know like people hang in there you know and you know just different things like that and it's like what makes you think that you know i'm not right in here with him but at any rate that's just a side note rant but you know i thank god that through all of that we were happy you know at least with each other we were not happy with the situation i mean just things yeah it was rough it was rough but in spite of it all we pressed we pressed we pressed and we kept saying to each other like this just feels like boot camp it feels like you know a training and we thought it was training for you know the next level to have successful businesses and different things like that and so we hung in there and like i said everything that could go wrong did go wrong and we you know got knocked down a lot and every time we you know say okay it's for a purpose and we get back up so in at the end of may we were tired we were so tired um of taking hits and it was we were on our last leg and he went out one day just just doing his best to try to make this thing work and um so he went out and did what he had to do and came back that day and he said you know oh, i just feel so tired and so i really really thought that the stress of everything was starting to get to him and my gosh you know after two and a half years of getting knocked down and getting told no and um people getting your hopes up and then telling you oh i'm sorry um one could understand that and so you know i'm like well just rest you know and everything like that and of course being the people that we are we tried to continue to do the things that we were doing and um finally he went to the emergency room and they diagnosed him with um heat exhaustion and they told him to go home drink plenty of fluids and that because he was having major 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 headaches and um hot and cold you know getting hot and cold sweating and stuff like that so they said he had um heat exhaustion so they sent us home said if it doesn't get better in two days you know to come back so we decided um we didn't wait two days because it was not getting better. He was so full of Gatorade. He didn't, he never wanted to see another bottle of Gatorade in his life. So, um, we went back to the emergency room. They admitted him. Um, they took him into the emergency room. He was still having very, 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 very severe headaches. Um, they admitted him, took him up to the, you know, regular mm -hmm. floor and 
um, told him to sleep and that in the morning the doctors would come see him and he did not make it to the morning by five o'clock in the morning the headaches were beyond severe and I've never seen a hospital that does not have doctors in the middle of the night um but we were told to wait the doctors will be there soon and by the doctors came by the time the doctors came he was unresponsive um do I yeah it's so unfair but then life is it has a lot of unfairness um they tested him for meningitis and he had meningitis but by that time he was already um he coded right after they did the test and um at that point they declared him brain dead and I think that that part right there is the part that gets me the worst. It's because of how smart he was. And then for, you know, to get declared brain dead. But in the same instance though, if, you know, say for instance he didn't fully recover and he was affected in his brain, I know that that would have, it would have not you know it would have not been good for him you know being who he was being able to think was his his thing you know think about space and think about science and think about oh gosh you know anything and everything so if he wasn't going to fully recover in that area I don't know you know that he necessarily would have what it's hard to say what people would have wanted but at any rate that choice we didn't have that choice you know they we told them no we didn't want him taking off a of life support but after so many days um they by law have to take people off of life support so that's what they did and um my family was there his family was there um thank god and i mean talking about supernatural like ability to go through something if you had have told me that that's what was gonna happen after this you know two and a half year period i would <laughs> I would have had a, a few choice words for you because there is no way, there is no way that I would have been able to even fathom or think about going through something like this. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying this because, you know, I felt the prayers of everyone that was praying. And I mean, we had people praying all over the world and, you know, I've, I've felt those prayers and i was able to write his obituary myself able to plan his funeral um and just able to get through things and even now i look you know every you know everybody has suggestions about what you what you should do with your life afterwards you know um because you're a woman and obviously you can't survive without a man which Perhaps I'll give all of my thoughts on that um, in another video. But it's just, I'm grateful because I feel prepared. And that's a silly word because how can you ever be prepared for something like this? But that boot camp, it literally was a boot camp. And afterwards, um, it, it actually even during, my um, dryer went out and... <clears throat> I fixed it and then and it's just like 
thing after thing after thing went out. My refri my uh, microwave went out. Tried to fix that, but we couldn't. But we replaced it um, for cheap. Went to the Habitat for Humanity restore. Um, I'm trying to think. Just thing after thing after thing. I've fixed toilets. I have done so many things. Fixed computers. So many things that were his thing. And not even realizing throughout the years how he himself was teaching me different things and so as I went through you know this as I'm going through this process you know when something happens I'll hear his voice in my head and I'll hear him say you know or just little things like with the trash he always took out the trash and as he was taking it out he said never let this trash you know overflow you know just like well in my mind you take out the trash so why do I you know, why do I even have to think about that? Um, I just, just little things here and there that are, that have enabled me to be able to stand, to continue to raise my children and stand with confidence knowing that I'm, I was made for this, you know? So, um. Uh, I don't know what the future holds honestly I don't know we had so many goals and dreams and they were all wrapped up together so I don't know you know but I do have confidence in knowing that I was made for this and yes this is a club nobody wants to be in nobody wants to be a young widow um but it is what it is and i'm not going to bow up under it i'm not going to buckle i'm not going to bend i've been through too much to let it take me so you know i feel myself getting overwhelmed sometimes and i have to take a step back i cannot allow um you know too much to be put on me i can't you know uh, sign myself up for too many tasks and different things like that I have kids to worry about and you know and to raise so you know I'm doing my best to stay healthy myself so it's just things like that um but I do want you know it's it's changed everything has changed and I do want to take you guys along on this journey you know this was the video the sad video and I'm not saying that there aren't sad moments um I, that I don't have sad moments you know I, I was telling somebody I said you know I have cry time you know it's important to allow yourself that and since especially since I'm not a person who um likes public displays of emotion um i have to allow myself that when i am alone and you know when i feel safe so i allow myself that sometimes i get you know run myself a bath get in the tub and have cry time you know that that's healthy um i do realize that this is a journey i do realize that my heart is very very broken um just the little things um i find myself being very cynical sometimes um yeah this is you know my heart is very broken and you know it's gonna take a long time to get and i won't say back to how it was because you know there is no going back there's only going forward and going forward you know and being healthy and being uh, whole is important and so that's where I'm going towards um as far as the kids are concerned the kids are doing fine small children are very resilient I keep my eye on them constantly to make sure that um and not in a brooding way but 
to make sure that they're okay and that I get them whatever they need in order to be okay. Um, but I find that just doing normal things and sometimes doing exceptional things like we had never gone ice skating before and we went ice skating um and that just really made them happy their dad was very adventurous and very um he just loved to do stuff and because we were working on businesses for the last two and a half years we haven't one we haven't had the means and two we just haven't had the time now Thank God, you know, he was off of his job for two and a half years. He took them to school every other day. Um, he was with them and with me so much. You know, we worked at the house together during the day, just me and him. So we got our time and I'm grateful for that. Um, if I had known that this was going, you know, that our marriage was going to end like this this soon, um, I still would have married him. Um, so he was my best friend and I miss him, but, um, I hope that, you know, I hope that you guys will take this journey with me. There won't be so many tears in the coming videos. Um, I am taking a ballet class i've chosen that i've always wanted to take one i've chosen that as my therapy of choice um and um just a lot of other things as we go through this process it's a year of change um is what i'm gonna entitle the series and you know just so you guys can see you know that the worst is not necessarily the end. And um yeah. And then I'm I'm really excited about some projects that are things that I'm working on um in his legacy and his honor. Um and um and then I just want to get back to fashion. Um I don't, you know, you guys might not be able to tell because you only see the top half of me or whatever, but, you know, I'm a stress starver, I guess. So during the whole ordeal, I lost a bit of weight and, um, and talking about irony, um, you know, after I had the kids, I was so stressed out about that weight. And Michael was like, you know, I, I'm not stressed out about that way. He liked it. So, you know, I didn't worry about it, you know, because of him. But as soon as, you know, he was gone, I was back down to my pre-baby weight. And everybody kept saying, eat, eat, which of course eating is important. And I do eat um, primarily because I don't want a sw swarm of people to run to my aid um so i eat um but i am at my pre-baby weight so that's i guess a wicked irony in all of it is that i get back my pre-baby weight without you know a whole lot of effort but that has i had to get rid of a lot of clothes and um I had to get some new ones so i wanted to show you guys my new wardrobe some of the things that i picked up over the summer and um yeah so that's it um if you guys want to go on this journey with me like i said you know this was the hard part this was the boom um but it only goes up from here so um definitely subscribe and um you know and then just let me know in the comments some different things that you guys want to you know want me to address in this year of change um like i said i feel like if something bad happens in your life in my life if i want to make something good come out of it and that 
makes me happy so um definitely let me know if there's things you guys want me to address and thank you guys for listening i will see you in the next video bye hi everyone welcome back to blueprint diy angelina here and i have a very special guest for a very special valentine's special and this is my valentine my hubby michael hello <laughs>